Mitsuyo Maeda is widely known as one of the key figures in the introduction of judo, also known as Kano Jiu-Jitsu, to Brazil. Maeda, popularly known as Conde Coma, meaning Count Combat, was a proud practitioner and ambassador of the system developed by Jigoro Kano. If you haven't watched my video interview with Mitsuyu Maeda, where Maeda himself addresses this subject, please check it out, the link is in the description. On his arrival to Brazil, the Japanese grappler continued his active career, engaging in challenge matches, teaching, and organizing tournaments. This and his worldly reputation earned him respect and admiration in the South American country. I'll paraphrase for you this short piece from the Theater and Sports Journal dated April 10th, 1915, to illustrate what was going on at the time. Renowned professor Count Combat, a distinguished and sympathetic figure, is in Rio for some days leading a troop of jiu-jitsu professionals from Japan. The courageous sportsman recently visited the Minister of Japan. The Minister wanted to reciprocate the visit, but didn't know where Maeda was staying, so he met him at the offices of Pascal Segreto, a company that Maeda frequented, and one of his sponsors for the second Brazilian jiu-jitsu championship. In one of my next videos, I'll elaborate on this Japanese squad, the Maeda Open Challenge, and some of the first Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners. But in this short video, I thought it would be interesting to show you the official rule set introduced by Maeda for his tournaments, which consisted of these 10 rules. 1. Every competitor must show up clean, with trimmed finger and toenails. 2. Competitors must wear a kimono, that will be provided by Maeda. 3. Biting, scratching, punching, and headbutting are not allowed. 4. If you use your foot, always use the inside curve. I can imagine this was meant to prevent competitors from kicking when attempting standing leg sweeps. 5. You don't lose by having your back against the ground, even if it's the result of a takedown. 6. To accept defeat, you have to tap three times. Seven, verbal taps are also acceptable. If the competitor is unable to tap, both the referee and the judges can make the call. Eight, each match will consist of rounds of five minutes with two minutes of rest. The field judge has to count the minutes out loud to keep the audience informed. Nine, if the competitors fall outside the mat, the referee will reset them standing in the center and 10, the judges can substitute the referee in his duties. The specific competition this news article is referring to was held on April, Saturday and Sunday, 10th and 11th, 1915, in the Carlos Gomez Theater in Rio de Janeiro. Don't forget to check out the latest t-shirts from Gotch Fightwear. Shipping to the UK and Germany is now available. This video was produced by DDoS and the World Submission Wrestling Federation. Join the World Submission Wrestling Federation. Visit our official website at submissionwrestlingarts.com.